Hi folks, and um, for you enthusiasts out there, um, don't bother watching this video, you'll already know what the Andural UI is. Um, this video is for those that don't know. So rewinding, perhaps back to the start or the beginning, uh, the UI on a flashlight describes uh, the manner in which we operated. So this light, for example, the user interface UI is a one click on, one click off, on the on position, we hold the button and it scrolls through our modes, double click, turbo. So you'd kind of read that in the manual and you would then know how to operate this particular torch. You can't change anything. And, and a lot of torches are like that and that's absolutely fine. It is what it is. And then other lights, um, so here's an example. Um, the user interface is slightly different. Let me just unlock it. And that uh, we've got a couple of choices. So this one, the same as the other, seems to work the same. And we can scroll through our modes. Oh, in the on position, we can customize it. And you do that by various button clicks. So in this case, I do that, little blink, and it's told me that something's changed. And that is now I've moved from the, the stepped ramp in, stepped as in it moves up in, in steps. And now it's gone to what we call a seamless or stepless ramp in. So you've kind of got two interfaces there, haven't you? And you can swap from one to the other by a series of button clicks. Four clicks takes me back to where we were. Then, then we have um, something like this. Um, very much similar to the others. We've got those two basic operations in that we can have it as it comes out of the box or we've got a couple of basic clicks to change it from the stepped to the seamless ramping. But what we've also got is a much more advanced user interface in that there's software, firmware, I'm not sure what you'd call it, within the light. And as with this one, uh, we could change the one thing we could change by just clicking that four times. With this particular light, there's a series of really, really complicated clicks and sequences of clicks that we can use to change all manner of things. And one of the most common advanced user interfaces is the Android user interface. And that's the one where the various clicks can change all manner of things. Let's have a closer look at what that might mean and do. So what we're looking at now is the uh, is the user manual for Andural. And there are two versions of Andural, version one, version two. Um, all of the flashlights being shipped and sold today um, will be on the version two. And I don't know about you, but this this is so daunting, you know, to go through page after page after page. And, and what it's essentially describing is various clickies, series of button presses to do various things uh, and I really wouldn't advise that you kind of sit trying to look at all this as a first step uh, and I'm going to focus in just initially on on, on three things um, what power is available on your flashlight from the get-go without you having to do anything and the reason I say that is that uh, it says here in the manual, the simple UI has all the basic functions needed to work, but the minimum and maximum brightness levels are limited by default to make it safer. Ooh, okay. That might be something that right from the get-go you, you're concerned with. Um, the second thing that you might want to look at is the thermal calibration. And what that is, is flashlights will back the power off as they get hot. But with Andrew, you get the choice to alter that threshold. So the default's normally about 45, you could change it to 55. And you'll completely change the way in which the light works in that it will hold its power and its output for longer, but will get hotter. And then the third thing is what happens if I screw it up? Um, 
Well, the, the reset is really, really simple. Um, you just unscrew the tail cap, press the power button, retime and it resets. So perhaps that third point is the most important. You can go in and mess about to your heart's content. And if you get it wrong, it doesn't matter. You can't break anything. So I guess that's the most important thing to keep in mind, isn't it? Now, jumping back to the other two bits I mentioned in terms of what power is available to me and the thermal calibration. Uh, let's move away from this as quickly as possible and perhaps look at it in a slightly different way. So this is kind of a, a visual representation of, um, and, and, and you know what, I don't find this any easier either looking at this. This is a visual representation of the default uh, and we can see straight away on the simple UI we don't have the full power because that's, that's that grayed out box. But what we, what we can also see on this uh, visual representation is a little bit of a flavour of what we can do, you know, such as altering the brightness of the LEDs and blah, 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 getting into these different modes, these, such as bike, party, strobe and whatnot, uh, and all manner of things that we can muck about with, including the thermal configuration. And remember that was one of the two things that I mentioned along with what power is available. Now, all this is getting even more misleading and confusing. So let's perhaps have a look at it a slightly different way. Um, quite a lot of the manufacturers, I've probably already decided that they didn't quite like how it was in the first place. So what a lot have done is, as you can see there, they've kind of put a, this kind of line straight away to make it a lot easier to know in which part you're working, simple or advanced. Oh yeah, look at my top. Um, but crucially, crucially, look at that change that's been made there. So contrary to what the actual Android manual's telling us about, you know, the power being limited, some of the manufacturers have changed that. And in my opinion, that's massively helpful. And that now you can purchase your light with Android 2. Don't get confused with the manual that's telling you something that is now wrong because the manufacturer's changed it and the full power is available in the simple mode which might then mean for you as a user you're quite happy to stick with that keep it in the simple mode and i've got my full power and that's enough if at some point you want to go and change something um or you know access any of the other modes which are these little blinky things and whatnot you know, the lightning storm and, and, the, and the candle mode. It's then really that you'd then come and, and, and grab the manual and have a quick look, rather than trying to learn absolutely everything, which I would say is impossible. Um, you've got something specific in mind. So I want to access lightning mode. So that's all you grab the manual for, and that's all that you would, perhaps if you prefer to look at it in a visual representation, that's why you would look and say, okay, how do we do that particular thing? And I did focus in on the thermal regulation, didn't I, which um, is shown slightly different to you. So if you want to have a mess about with that, it tells us how we do it by these series of clicks. So that is the gist of Andual 2 UI and what you're actually getting. So to summarize, when you're buying the light, make sure that you're absolutely clear about which version of Android you've got, because it should be version 2, and is it a version 2 that's tweaked, like Lumen Top have done here, and you've got access to the full power from the get-go. And I think that's about it, folks. I hope that was helpful, and I hope that you don't get put off uh, from buying a light with Android user base.